I'm Tom Entenmeyer, the Chief Technology Officer of Financial Strength. This is Dr. Mogri. He's one of our shareholders and the most important to the board. And I wanted to ask him, while we have you on video here, you had us on video here, that how did you first get involved with Financial Strength? Well, it's a series of events, really. I, uh, I've been traveling overseas and I was in the Middle East and uh, had a wonderful time when I was there and uh, uh, had a chance to travel around the countryside and see in many areas uh, basically that uh, the terrain was not terrain that was useful for growing anything. I mean, the large potash deserts in many respects, particularly in Jordan. But I had such a wonderful trip that when I left, I thought I'd really like to be able to bring something back to that country and show the people how much I appreciated being there. And I, I really hadn't any idea as to what I was thinking about, but those were the, the lines. Two weeks after I'd gotten back home, uh, I happened to be a, a member of a group that was interested in uh, angel projects and uh, one particular evening, I went to listen to uh, a young man who had come, young in those days, uh, <laughs> right. uh, who was uh, an engineer at a local research facility and was talking about growing shrimp in his garage <laughs> and had a picture of a big blue tub and shrimp jumping out of it. Mm -hmm. And as I listened to him, uh, I thought, you know, this is something really interesting. Uh, I think he mentioned at that time that it was probably potentially one of the cheapest ways of providing protein. I thought that would be a wonderful thing for me to do if I were able to bring that technology back to those countries where in fact they're not able to produce protein. And as I listened to him, I realized with the ideas that he was developing, you could actually set one of these plants up in the Arctic or in the Sahara. And it was not only a matter of growing shrimp, first-class shrimp, but also it was a matter of doing it cleanly so that there would be no effluent, no downside, no toxicity. Uh, reusable water in the system that in truly uh, would be clean and green. And I was really enthused. Uh, it's not that I don't like to get a return on an investment, of course I do. But on the other hand, if you were able to get a return on an investment that actually was good in itself and provided something for people and uh, made the world a better place. And yes, I became interested and I did invest. And I have been an investor for 20 years. It's probably <laughs> longer than most people would want to be an investor. But uh, for me, every year was worthwhile. And to be able to be here today in a setting like this uh, and to see this great step forward, uh, I think, with incredible potential is something just absolutely heartwarming. Right. Yeah, I appreciate you sticking with us. It's been, like you said, 20 years. 20 but, years, yes. But you know, finally, we've gotten to the point of making uh, Absolutely. Trying all the different traditional methods and finally find what it, works. It's been 20 years of ups and downs, yeah. 20 years of increasing knowledge, 20 years of know-how, Sometimes 20 years of hard work, 20 years of luck, and it's come together. Yeah, right. It really is. No, this is just wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.